Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first video, so please bear with me if my editing skills are not that good or my accent sounds a bit weird. Today I'm doing an honest review on the Sunrev Aria belt bags. This video is not sponsored, and in today's video we will talk about the bag details, the pros and cons, um, and I'll show you how I style them. So now let me show you how I style the bag. The first way, you can wear it as a clutch. When you add the strap, you can wear it as a shoulder bag. After shortening the strap, you can see it's like a baguette now. So you just swing it on your shoulder. It looks pretty sleek like this. There are two loops on the bag exterior as well. And you can wear it as a belt bag or a sling bag. This is me wearing it as a sling bag. As you can see, it's in front of my chest and I think this is a really good way to wear the bag when you're traveling because you can hold your bag like this and people can't steal things from you. When you style it as a belt bag, I think it goes really well with a blazer. When you add a chain strap, it looks more elegant. You can also wear the chain strap over your body and wear it as a crossbody bag. Um, I actually didn't get the Sinref chain strap. This is just a random strap from another bag that I own. I think you can use pretty much any kind of chain strap you have. You can also wear it as a baguette when you double up the chain strap. So this is the baguette style with the chain strap. It looks a bit more formal and you can go to some dinners with this bag. Not sure if you can put it over your shoulder though. It's a bit. The chain is a bit short like this. I got these bags in two different colors. This is the chestnut in pebbled leather. And this is the merlot in pebbled leather as well. The Aria belt bag comes with a box, a dust bag, and an adjustable leather strap. I think you can get a chain strap as well, but you have to pay for that, so I didn't get that. Now let me show you the interior of this bag. I'll put the dimensions on the screen so you know how big it is. You open it with a snap closure and you get the tongue and the flap out. You can see there are a lot of space. With this little zip pocket and some place for you to put your cards it's really spacious you can fit your phone your lipstick some makeup items as you can see it can fit my daily essentials we have some wipes here because of the covid19 obviously my phone iphone 8 plus my wallet some lipsticks I think we can fit a bit more I have bought these bags for about a month now and um, I think it works perfectly for me it fits everything I want to bring and um, the leather is pretty nice it smells nice and I haven't bought many designer items so I'm not sure um, what good leather is supposed to be but for me it is really well structured and it holds up really well so now let's talk about some pros about the Senrev Aria belt bags um, one of the pros is uh, shipping I think because it's really fast I live in Hong Kong and uh, when I place an order the next day they will ship through DHL and about three to four business days I would get the bags it arrives in perfect condition and um, another pro is they have amazing customer service you just have to go to their website and there's a little uh, chat bubble you just click on it and you almost get immediate responses from the their staff and um, the third pro is I think it's really easy to style you can make it casual or elegant or a bit formal when you carry it as a clutch 
So this is a really versatile bag for me and as a student I don't have that much money to spend on a lot of bags for different occasions. So I think this bag fits my uh, daily life because I can use it in different occasions. Um, but there are some cons about these bags. The first one is um, the price is a bit expensive for a new brand. I will put the price on the screen. Um, but it's understandable because um, their quality is pretty good. And also another con is the, the opening is a bit difficult sometimes. When you open it with one hand, you will find it difficult to close. See, sometimes it just it just doesn't snap. But overall, I love these bags and um, I use them almost every day. And even if you spray the alcohol on it to clean it, it doesn't ruin the leather, so that's pretty good. I also like um, understated bags in general because I just don't feel comfortable wearing a lot of logos everywhere and sometimes people will just look at you. It has a small little logo here and the look is pretty simplistic. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And also comment below and let me know if you own this bag and um, what is your favorite way to style them. Thank you.